Welcome to Performance Product Technologies and allowing us the opportunity at earning your business. Today in the Marine Engines Repowering video series, we're going to cover video installment number two, which is going to be the correct terminology to use when investigating your different options. So from the home page here on the website, up at the top, if you'll click on the repowering guide, you'll see option number two is understanding the terminology. The read more link out to the left, if you will go ahead and click on that, opening the window, you can go ahead and expand that. You will see it's broke out here into step number one, understanding the terminology. This is first and foremost in understanding what options you actually have. In video series uh, installment number one, we covered the EPA regulations that basically give you the options that you have. And then in video installment number two that we're covering here, we're going to go into those specific options and make sure you understand what the terminology actually is. So the first thing is engine rotation. And no matter whether you're going with a power package, a complete drop-in bobtail, or just a long block, it's crucial to know the, the rotation of the engine. In the marine industry, standard rotation would refer to left-hand rotation, which means the flywheel is turning counterclockwise, looking at it from the rear. Uh, it's always viewed, engine rotation in the marine industry is always viewed from the rear. So there's a read more link here if you want to go ahead and click on that, opens up a window. And there's a uh, illustration here that will show you left hand engine spins counterclockwise when you're looking at the flywheel. Right hand would refer to uh, clockwise rotation of the flywheel looking at it from the back. So if you want to go ahead and close that window and then we come back to the main page here. The main thing to point out is that opposite rotation engines right hand were common years ago however they're not regularly produced today as the later variety of transmissions that being the aluminum bodied hearth or zf gear or the velvet drive 5000 series both have negated the need for this because the transmission itself is bi-directional so generally when people are looking at opposite rotation engines it's going to refer to engines that are back probably before 1992 or 93 and you're going to be very limited in availability because if you go if you try to change the rotation to the newer style transmissions the mounting is different and therefore it's going to require you to change your stringers and and uh, mounting of the engine the angle at which the engine sets it's a pretty uh, in-depth job so when it's time to repower if you have an older boat that has one standard and one opposite rotation you're really going to have a limited number of options and going to have to investigate uh, how, how much you really like the old boat and whether it's worth sinking the money into. The quick and, and dirty way to do it is just to replace the long block and not get into a package situation where you have to go with standard rotations with different mounting transmissions and so forth. Uh, so having that topic covered, we're going to move down the list here to marine engine long block. Uh, I'm not going to go through and read everything that's in here, but I'll point out a couple of things. The long blocks are gen generally the most economical of options. That's going to be just the block cylinder heads and rotating assembly. This is a good option if you have a like freeze damage or something of that nature where all of the accessories are still good. Uh, more of your later model engines that uh, still have uh, don't have very much time on the exhaust and bracketry and cooling system if you suffer freeze damage or something from that regard this is always a good option you will notice there is a link here titled read more on long block products if you select that link it will take you to the store category regarding the long blocks and the different options available uh, be it either remanufactured or new moving down here to the next option you'll see power package. This term refers to the growing market for partially completed engines. These are also a very good option when you have, uh, like if you had a five, five liter, you know, a 240 horse five liter and you wanted to move up to the 300 horse 5.7, these power packages are partially completed, meaning it's a new long block with the intake manifold, carburetor, fuel pump, fuel lines, and ignition system. So basically, it's everything set up except for your brackets and cooling system and, and exhaust, which would be the common components regardless of the, 
the five liter to five seven displacement. These packages were uh, specifically put together to allow people to either move from the pre-Vortec engines that had the mechanical fuel pump up to the later Vortec style with the electric fuel pump or allow people to upgrade from the smaller engines that did not have uh, the same horsepower and performance as the, the Vortec series. These engines are a very good economical option as well. They uh, are going to be considerably cheaper than a complete drop-in bobtail engine. They're going to uh, not be regulated through the EPA regulations, so you don't have to worry about catalyzation and things of that nature. They're just a very good option. If you select the Read More uh, button here under that topic, it'll take you to the uh, location in the store, which will give you the available options there as well. Moving down to the next topic is Bobtail Marine Engine. This term generally refers to a complete new turnkey engine, and a lot of people call them drop-in replacements, complete bobtails. Y you have to be a little bit careful. There are some uh, businesses that, that do remove hardware from them and sell them without flywheel housings, without couplers, without things of that nature. But as an industry-related term, the, the turnkey drop-in bobtail engine would be a complete engine. It's going to have the exhaust system, fuel, cooling, electrical, mounts, bell housing, coupler, all of these things. These engines can be supplied as either new or, in the case of Mercruiser, they have their remanufactured or CPO series products. Uh, these engines could either be catalyzed or uncatalyzed, and the, all of the new ones will be catalyzed unless it's a special build and, and is covered under the provision that allows you to return your old engine. But if you do notice in here, there, there are notes here that they are uh, regulated by the EPA uh, directive that came out in 2010, which we covered in video series number one. And you can click the read more link here to get back into more information on that. Or if you're uh, interested in the certified pre-owned line from Mercruiser, uh, which we covered in video series number one, you can click the read more link here for that as well. And once again, there's a read more link which will take you to the products that are available within the, the store. And moving down here, we're going to go to complete package term, refers to the combination of a turnkey bobtail engine, new or CPO. And in the case of a stern drive package, it would include the transom assembly or shield, uh, transom shield as Volvo calls it. Uh, or, or gimbal assembly, it's also called sometimes, and the stern drive. Uh, several years ago, the manufacturers kind of went away from the, the terminology of a complete package, and it's more a la carte, so you would, you would piece together your engine, your transom assembly, and then the stern drive separately. They're, they're priced uh, separately for that purpose. And the next thing that we'll get into is the stern drive. This, this term generally refers to the drive system on an inboard outboard powered boat. Uh, stern drive and inboard outboard is the same thing. A lot of people refer to them differently uh, and, and don't realize they're talking about the same thing, but uh, inboard outboard and stern drive is the same. They can utilize a single or dual propeller drive design. And basically, the two manufacturers that make up 99% of all of this uh, business are either Mercruiser or Volvo Penta. Mercruiser has their Alpha, which is their single propeller entry-level design, then the Bravo, which they offer in a single propeller design, and then also the Bravo 3, which would be a twin propeller. And same with Volvo Penta, they have their SX series being the single propeller design, and then up into the DP uh, product line, which is the dual propeller. And then next, the transom assembly. Uh, or transom shield, gimbal assembly. This is the part that goes on the back of the boat that connects the engine and the drive together. Uh, there's a couple of different designs for the Alpha or for the Bravo in Mercruiser's case. And about 1982 is where they went to the current design they utilize today that uses the same cutout in the back of the boat. Uh, about 1990, Volvo Penta changed the cutout requirement in the back of the boat to match the Mercruiser product line. So if you happen to have an older Volvo or you have a product that's not a Mercruiser, Mercruiser does offer an adapter plate that you can get to. You should be able to click on the link here and open up the product or the transom assemblies category within the store 
and you'll see right here the adapter plate uh, which goes in and covers the old larger cutout and adapts it to the current style but you can see in here there's different transom assemblies for alphas and bravos as well as a template if you need to cut out the hole in the boat so if we close that window and then down towards the last one the transmission uh, also referred to as gearbox this is the drive system on inboard powered boats uh, several different gear ratios mounting angles and things of that nature and last but not least a helpful hint here and I won't go through all of it but basically just covers the necessity of opposite rotation engines and and how that applies to older product versus the new product so this pretty much completes uh, video installment number two under the marine engines repowering video series uh, understanding the terminology hopefully this gives you a, a better idea of, of when you start looking at your options how to be able to to use the correct terminology as you communicate with people within the industry and for video installment number three we're going to cover the model configuration and how to determine the age and uh, serial number location for the product that you have so we do appreciate your business and you uh, watching this video if you have any specific questions as always we'll be happy to help you you can call us at 405-533-3812 or as always you can click the online support help for live technical support once again we appreciate your business and look forward to talking to you